So Microsoft is trying to smooth things over with gamers who were stuck with playing a broken Halo Master Chief collection for a few weeks. So we're going to get into that in a few moments and talk about what they're doing and if it wipes the slate clean. First, I do want to point out you are checking out some Halo 5 gameplay. They put it out for preview members. So I've been playing it for a little bit and so far I'm really digging it. Um, I'm not a big Halo close quarters fan and usually if I get on and play Halo I'm wanting to play like the bigger maps like the ones with the vehicles and things like that I like driving the Warthog uh, but I've never really been a big fan of the close quarter gameplay but this one it feels different and I know that that probably isn't what some Halo fans want to hear especially the hardcore crowd uh, but for me different feels good and it feels like solid gameplay I like that new thrust feature. I like that the assault rifle actually seems useful. I mean, so far with what I've played, I really hope that they don't change anything at this point as far as the gameplay is concerned. I still haven't gotten completely comfortable with everything. The controls, I, I wish, man, they, they would let you choose your own controls and pick whatever button you want for whatever whenever you start playing a game. So I'm trying to still get used to the controls for this one. Uh, I still haven't figured out how to do that ground punch yet, but so far, I really like what I've seen. And I will say this, that after playing Destiny's multiplayer and playing Halo 5, uh, I'm glad that Bungie honestly isn't making Halo anymore. I feel a lot more comfortable, honestly, with 343 at this point. So moving on to Microsoft's makeup attempt. Um, so first, you know, they wanted to make it known that they are still working on fixing the bugs as their top priority, getting the game working like it should have been working since day one. But a lot of people think that if they hear that more content is being added on or made, they automatically assume that everybody just stopped what they were doing and just headed over and started working on something else entirely. So they did want to make it known that that is not the case. People are still working on fixing the game as it stands right now. Now, as far as the current state of the game, I really can't say what the overall state of the game is. I played it just a few days ago, and everything was honestly working pretty smooth for me. I was jumping right into multiplayer games. I played a couple of different multiplayer playlists uh, just to test those out, and everything was loading right up. The, the team seemed balanced. The gameplay seemed smooth. So everything was working for me. But again, the game has so much content in it, I can't tell you if the other things were, were working just as well, if the campaign's working fine, or if all multiplayer playlists are working fine, whatever. So, I do know it is definitely better than whenever it first released. But, in order to make up for that release, Microsoft has announced that there are some things that they are going to be delivering to you if you played Halo Master Chief Collection between November the 11th and December the 19th. So they say if you played online for Halo Master Chief Collection between November the 11th and December the 19th, you're going to get one free month of Xbox Live Gold. You're going to get some in-game nameplates and avatars. Maybe they'll make the nameplate say Beta Tester or something. They're also adding a remastered anniversary map from Halo 2, the Relic map. That's going to be added and totally redone. And they're also going to be bringing Halo 3 ODST campaign to everyone. So obviously the big prize here was the ODST campaign, uh, but it doesn't appear that that is going to be coming with the co-op fire mode, which I thought was like the biggest part of that game, so that's a bit disappointing. Um, I think what this says also is that eventually you're probably going to get Halo Reach and you're going to get other Halo content in the future for Halo Master Chief Collection. I think that their whole idea to begin with was to deliver the biggest games on one disc and then deliver the rest of it out in DLC. But since they screwed up early on, they're going to give you part of that DLC for free. So, you know, could they have done more? Could they have given you better content? Um, yeah, of course, it could be better. Could they have done worse? 
Uh, yeah, of course, they could have done worse. They didn't have to offer anything at all, actually. Um, so, I mean, we've been seeing this quite often, a little too often recently with broken games where they are giving out free games in order to try to make up for it. But, I mean, technically, they don't have to do anything for you aside from fix the game, which is what should be an obvious uh, Drive Club, I'm not sure that they gave out a free game with that. I think the only thing that they did there was giving out a free DLC pack, and they still haven't mentioned the PS Plus edition of that game. So I'm not going to really bitch about free content. I'm not really a person who feels really entitled to much. But I will say this, that I don't want free shit in the future as an apology for releasing a broken game. Don't give me an apology, and don't give me a broken game to begin with. You wouldn't release a full version of Windows to consumers at retail that was inoperable. So why are you doing it with video games? That version of Windows would have never made it out of the quality assurance team in that state. So, again, I don't understand why it happens with games. And on one hand, look, I do try to get it because I always try to look at it from all different points of view. On one hand, this is like one of the most ambitious things that I've seen in a long time coming from a video game company. I think it's great that you tried to pack four games at once into one package. And having those games actually connected to one another so that you can jump in and out whenever you please. I applaud you for trying to raise the bar with content for this price, but releasing anything less than a working game is what I expect from amateurs. It's what I expect from the B team or from no-name indie devs, not from multi-million dollar companies who are not on their first rodeo. The other day I saw where a Sony executive was talking about multiplayer games today and he pretended like we were living in some far distant future where you can't really test games now because we play with people in different parts of the globe. So people can be across the seas or they can be, you know, 300 miles away, 3,000 miles away, whatever, you know. So he, he was saying basically that because there are so many people in different parts of the, the globe, you can't really fully test multiplayer games today. And to that, I say that that statement is complete horseshit, in my humble opinion. Especially coming from people like Sony and Microsoft, who have studios and offices set up in multiple places all around the globe. You're telling me they can't hook up PS4s and Xboxes at these locations to run tests? to get data on how matchmaking is performing whenever you're hooking up with different people in different parts of the globe? I don't buy it. So anyway, I do hope that 2015 turns out a lot better for gamers than 2014 did when it comes to broken games being released. Don't give me an apology, just give me a working game to begin with. Post below, let me know what do you think if you think this free content makes up for the troubled launch and makes it a bit better. That does it for me, the Red Dragon. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.